Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard, episode number 171. So in today's episode, guys, I have changed my audio setup uh, completely. Well, not com well, I'm still using the same microphone, but it is a different setup. And I'll probably show, if I can, I'll show you guys a picture of it, like in the last clip of the video. But let me know in the comments how the audio quality is, if my sound's too loud, not loud enough. Uh, and just overall, if it's better than it was before. If it's n like no different, don't comment anything. And if it was, if it's worse now than it was before, let me know that too. Um, because yeah, I'm using a boom arm, which uh, a better boom arm because I had one, but it was awful. W wouldn't hold my Blue Yeti, and I've got the radius as well from Blue Yeti with a pop filter on it, which is you can kind of see it. I think in the web, yeah, you can you can kind of see it. So anyway, let's get into some Supercard. Um, let's start off with the news from Supercard on Twitter, because they have obviously been tweeting these last couple of days with all the stuff that's going to come out in the new update. So let's quickly go on to WWE Supercard on Twitter. And let's, ha let's have a quick little recap of everything they've kind of tweeted in the, let's say, last three, no, like two days, because um, I don't think I've talked about it too much. So we've got a WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels, Hall of Fame card. Remember, Hall of Fame is not a separate tier. No, 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 that would have been too good to be true. They literally just had to do, like, throwbacks with a new name and something that we could all spend our money on, basically. So anyway, that aside, that small little rant aside, let's actually go through the card. So yeah, we do have a WrestleMania, um, Shawn Michaels, which is pretty cool. We do already have an event card of him, so... It's, it, those kind of things annoy me. I know they don't have the rights for everyone, so they can't have everyone in the game, but you would think that you, they wouldn't, like, have... I know, like, oh, yeah, you would think they had an event card. Why would they do, like, the same card in the same tier? It's a shame, you know, for, like... If that would have been, like, an Edge or something, how cool would that have been? I know Edge is not in the Hall of Fame, and that's the whole purpose of the tier, but, like, someone else who's, like, as, like... Like, Ric Flair, for example. Um... Anyway, we move on to Seth Rollins, which is going to be the event card for this upcoming Ring Domination. Uh, preview should be up tomorrow evening. It's going to be really exciting. This card design looks sick. Um, not, I probably won't have it up on the screen, so yeah, make sure you guys check that out on Twitter. Probably the best card design so far, uh, like for me personally. The picture looks sick. Um, it's just a different, like really different from anything else we see. Maybe not the best in your opinion. Maybe it's not even the best, like for me. But, like, just because it's so different, all of them, like, it's definitely up there. Uh, and it is obviously pretty sick. Um, and then we move on to something they tweeted actually today, and it was two hours ago. And I know a lot of people will be happy about who it is, but they won't be happy because, well, it's not a new tier. And we're still talking about WrestleMania cards. And for a lot of people, this is kind of useless. Um, and we're not going to really spend the money if those cards will only just make our decks and then like maybe a, like a week later they'll bring out the new tin and they won't even make our decks anymore so it's it's really pointless apart from if you want images him as your champion those kind of things but you know it all comes down to if you're willing to spend but we got the Eddie Guerrero Hall of Fame car which is pretty cool and that is pretty much it guys I'm um, looking forward to that Seth Rollins but let's get into some of the business that uh, I wanted to show you guys so Rick Team Ring Dom went, went really well we got like Triple H really quickly in like two two and a half hours I think but we haven't bothered at all with the TJ Perkins as you can see Sean Supercards massive shout out to you man you really went ham on it uh, Flame me, myself, Sarah, Fatboy, Parker, Super JT, Roman Reigns, and Randy and Gamer Girl. Um, so Gamer Girl had some uh, connection, internet connection issues uh, for background and both uh, team ring dumps, so that is okay. But we might be replacing someone in the team, guys, very soon, so I will let you guys know on Twitter if we do need any new members. But I've got a couple of attacks, I think, left on Battleground, which which we're going to get right into. Uh, we probably would know, not probably, we've got the win uh, on this battleground. It is pretty much confirmed 12,000 to almost 10,000. It's like more than 2,000 gap. Uh, two hours left. I'm like, I don't think it's, well, I pretty, I'm pretty sure it's not even possible anymore. Let's get into that attack, please. There we go. Um, I'm pretty sure I can be this guy. Didn't really check his cards, but confident. I've got that Finn Balor who gets me a lot of wins. I've got that Nikki Bella. Yeah, Finn Balor and Finn Balor. It's, it's always Finn Balor. It's always Finn Balor. It is. It really is always Finn Balor. 
Anyway, um, let's yeah. I'm, I'm gonna talk a bit about Money in the Bank and a bit about Raw, like briefly, while we do our games here in uh, in Team Battleground. So Money in the Bank overall, I thought it was actually not as bad as a lot of people are saying it was. For sure, there were some disappointing parts. Mainly for me, like the main part they ruined it was that Ellsworth um, getting the Money in the Bank because it just puts it kind of ruins it for me. I can I can look past. Uh, the Usos getting um, counted out and you know them retaining. I I can I can deal with that. I can deal with the kind of weird finish uh, with the Lana Naomi match, and I can you know like that's fine. That's fine. The finish between Jinder and Orton wasn't the best. It was kind of like a carbon copy of uh, the last match. Um, I don't know. Yeah. So like those things. But the main thing for me, I could have looked past all of that if. Um, a woman would have actually won the Money in the Banks match instead of James Ellsworth. I know technically Carmella won, but, you know, it, it's just disappointing. It, Jay, Ellsworth maybe should have picked her up, maybe even carried her to the top of the ladder. I don't know, something, but just to get that picture that you can show in 20 years of, like, the first women, like, getting that money. It, it should have been it should have been much bigger, much more important, and the finish was just the wrong idea for me. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say on Money in the Bank. Well, actually, no, let's talk about the main event real quick. Um, oh, and no, Maria Canellis and Mike Canellis. Not Mike Bennett anymore, Mike Canellis. Uh, yeah, happy to see those guys in WWE. I really like them. They're short span they had in TNA. Um, yeah, and Maria Canellis is... Let's move on. Um, to the main event. <laughs> Baron Corbin. Um, he was like, it was either him or Sammy for me. And, uh, yeah, like, when it, when it's all said and done, I'm actually very happy Baron Corbin won. We know for a long time that they've wanted to push him, um, and they have, and I think he'll do really well, actually. He's a heel. I think he'll, it'll suit him. The way he won was actually quite good, because you have the two big faces on the ladder, pushes over the ladder, good, like, and he takes a while, a long while to unclip uh, that briefcase. But, I uh, know it was good. I really enjoyed it. Anyway... Our attacks are done. We are now over 12,000. They're over 9,000, but it won't be enough. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. It's going to be a really short episode. More of me talking about updates and, and money in the bank and stuff than anything else. But just an overall uh, look. I haven't uploaded in two days. Again, I'm just working so much, and it's just really hard to find the time for Supercard. But Ring Dom's coming out, that's going to be really exciting with that Seth Rollins event card. The under the undercard will probably be John Cena, although I'm not guaranteeing it because they could like throw a curveball. But John Cena is now the only, no, yeah, John Cena and Brock, yeah, John Cena and Brock Lesnar, the only cards to have not been the other cards. So it could be Brock Lesnar, but it probably will be one of those two. And no matter which one it is, it's a pro for me. Thank you guys for watching. Do drop it a like if you've enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new WWE Supercard video. Till then, take care. Most importantly, peace out.